Silk Hope, North Carolina today to watch the North Carolina Horse Council's Extreme Trail Horse Challenge. What this is, is a series of obstacles that are set up to test each rider's skill in uh, completing the obstacle. They're based on their skill level of horsemanship, completing the obstacle, and a time. The winners of today's races will accumulate points that go toward a high point prizes at the end of the year. With us now is Brandon Sammons, and Brandon ran in the amateur run and the open run today. And tell me a little bit about your run in the amateur. Okay, well, um, everything didn't go quite as well as I had planned. Um, coming out here and, you know, seeing all this different stuff and all these different people is always a challenge for every horse. But, um, you know, you just you go along with what the horse you got that day and you just do what you can do and you know these are very very challenging obstacles and you just go along with whatever you can do and just to, to better your horse because it's all about you know for me it's all about my horse and what can I do to help him you know um, there were a couple times where I really felt like he was just right there and then a couple times you know where I felt like I'd done stuff or we did stuff that I could could improve on um, could have been better um, the one thing that uh, we've gotten really used to here lately is the rope gates, and today we had a real gate. And so, um, even though you know, used to I used to be uh, accustomed to ro real gates, and now they're rope gates. But uh, <coughs> uh, that that was something, and then the the water box that was something that I actually didn't um, fully complete. There were very few people who did that today, and it was just a, a scary obstacle for the horses. But. Uh, Stuff like the, the A-frame, tarp, um, all that stuff, you know, went pretty well for me. Um, mm -hmm. The step ups and the step down, all that was pretty pretty neat. Now the water box is a confusing obstacle for a horse because of the, the lack of knowing how deep the hole is. Definitely. Is that correct? Definitely. You know, um, the water that's in it has been in there for a while. It's green, blackish, bluish, all kinds of different colors and, you know, uh, you just never know what they're thinking and they never know what you're thinking um, hey do I need to jump this do I need to drink it do I need to step in it you know and when you really get these horses really really broke to what you're you know, what we're doing here you know I may say I want you to put one foot on this two feet four feet three feet you know um, th there's so many specifications that you can get this down to that <clears throat> it the horse just, they're not quite sure, and every now and then with an obstacle like that, it's, it's very frightening uh, because they just, their, their perception of what's going on in it, you know, and it isn't as good as what it needs to be or, or could be, and, and, you know, very understandably, they're, they're scared of it, you know. Sure. And, and, and sure. you know, what, what, what you do with that kind of obstacle is you do the best you can while you're out here showing. You know, you don't train at the show, but, uh, even though you're always training when you're with your horse, you know, uh, I like to think that you you train at home and, and, and when you go and do, and then you go and show your horse. And, and so, you know, today, like after 30 seconds, they blow the whistle. Okay, you go to the next thing. Later on, you go back and work on that box. And he's been, my horse has been through water boxes, but that one's very scary. <laughs> well, my friends that are trainers always tell me that if you move it over six inches that they're completely right, confused right. and it's a whole or paint obstacle. it white. Yeah, yeah you have a bridge. Okay now paint it white. Now you know put cones beside it and it's just like oh that wasn't there yesterday and so anything and everything is just new to horses and and you know they're horses they're animals and that's what makes them so amazing and wonderful and definitely. There's also the dairy uh, extension agent for I think it's about five surrounding counties here. So if you have a chance, just come by and introduce yourself to her. If there's anything she can do to help you, she'll be right along. Uh, 
Marty approaches the gate on her horse and easily opens it and walks through it. Now let's see if she can close it. Good job, Marty. Gate horse is for sale. They'll go down in the ditch and around to the fallen logs next. You get to do whatever you want to in that freestyle the remainder of your time on your phone. Down in the ditch with no trouble. So Heading over to the fallen logs. In your mind as to what you want to do. That's for the pro riders. All along this course, the judges determine when you trot and when you canter, when you walk, what direction that you go, and which obstacles that you do. Each rider has 30 seconds per obstacle. When the judge blows the whistle, you have to move on to the next obstacle. And when you complete the course, if everybody had the same score and it was tied, it would be based on the fastest time. She's heading up the three steps. That obstacle didn't give her any problem. Now she's approaching the down the 32 inch drop obstacle. Let's see how she does. She's giving her horse time to look at it and think about it. And then she's gonna ask her to go. I know y'all didn't think he was going to come here and hear some yoga music, did you? She's taking her time and letting the horse make the decision to go. Next obstacle is the box with water in it. This has been a major challenge for all the riders today. Only one horse has completed this obstacle. Let's see how Megan does. Horses can't determine how deep the water is, so it makes them very hesitant to step into it because as far as they know, it's a bottomless pit. She's letting her take her time and look at it and drink a little bit and think about it. She's asking her to go. She puts one foot in and says, I don't think so. <laughs> she certainly jumps it easy. Well, they get partial credit for clearing the water. <laughs> there goes the whistle, so she moves on to the next obstacle. The next obstacle is an A-frame built out of two Thank fence panels with a tarp. She goes through that with these. Oh, was it clean comedy? Yeah. 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 And time. Good run, Megan. And for the creek jumper, she had a time of 5:35. She completed the course in five minutes and 35 seconds. The American Music Jubilee Down Home Christmas Show starts November 8th with all new songs, comedy, and stage design. This show has become more than just a tradition in Eastern North Carolina and has pleased audiences from 8 to 80. Experience this wonderful Christmas production. Watch the cast of the American Music Jubilee sing and play their hearts out for you. The spirit of Christmas will fill the air at the Grand Ole Rudy Theater in Selma, North Carolina. Go online to amjubilee.com and make your reservations or call that famous number 1-877-THE-RUDY. This is one show you don't want to miss. We're getting ready to have the North Carolina Southern Horse Festival sponsored by the North Carolina Horse Council. It'll be the fifth annual festival this year. We've moved it back here to the Hunt Horse Complex in Raleigh, North Carolina. And the dates for the festival are November 22nd through the 24th. We hope that you guys will come out and enjoy us at all the fun. We've added Academy Horse Show classes this year. We've added Walk Trot classes this year. We'll have the traditional Nobling Quarter Horse Show, the Open Horse Show, 
We'll have a trail challenge on Saturday. On Sunday, we have a trail challenge finale where we're going to award a Toro lawnmower to the winner, as well as all the high point awards that we've had this year. We're going to crown a brand new Miss Southern Horse Festival and a junior Miss Southern Horse Festival. There's just going to be tons of fun, so we hope that you'll come out and enjoy us. The event is free. As Miss Rodeo Virginia 2012, I had the opportunity to travel the country riding on many different horses and in many different saddles. But nothing compared to coming home and riding in my, uniquely my, world class saddlery saddle. From its unique dog flower tooling to the custom stirrups made just for me, the saddle fits me and my horses perfectly. So whether I'm out running barrels or in a parade, the saddle is both durable and beautiful. It can get the job done and still look good while doing it. I look forward to riding in my world-class saddlery for many years to come. Next obstacle that he's approaching is an L shape that they walk through and then they back back out. Was a walking horse ridden by a gal out of, uh, she's out of Alabama. Uh, so, you know, all you quarter horse people think you got the bomb, yeah. you were beat two years for the walking horse. That's all I studied was trail class. You know, I mean, I Good job. One good thing about the trail challenge classes is that they're good for any type of horse, any type of discipline. Anybody that can ride has a good chance at these. It's a good practice for trail riders of every skill level. Yeah, he's riding a shank bit, so uh, he's not required but recommended that he rides the entire course one-handed. Uh, Michael had to canter up to the ladder. He has to dismount, climb the ladder, and then remount again. In this particular class, he's ground tying the horse, which means dropping his reins and expecting the horse to stand still and quiet and wait for him to return. He climbs to the top of the ladder, he rings the bell, he goes back down and on to the next obstacle. Nice little step up there down the 32 inch drop, not a minute's hesitation. Now he'll be crossing the poles. I'm gonna side pass down the length of the pole. Thank you. He expertly maneuvers this horse side passing down the pole. Letting him take his time. The horse figures out what he's asking him to do. Very good job. And they're on to the next obstacle. Those who can't see it, there's a water crossing. He's getting ready to trot through down there. All the water probably maybe six inches deep. This is a water crossing that's six inches deep that the horse has to go through. Pretty dog on solid around it. It's surprising. My tractor about hung up. But once the sun could get in there, it really dried that ground up hard. So it's pretty nice. And I think he's required to actually walk through the water so he's attempting it again. This obstacle he takes the end of the pole. He has to turn a complete circle with it and lay the pole back on the stool without it falling down. This sounds like a really easy obstacle, but it's not in any way. The horse is a little scared of the object. The pole's kind of That's flimsy and wants to bend. And if you watch some of the folks in the Dressage Spanish Riding School, is they have to walk, trot, and canter a circle with that pole 
and the end touching the ground is never supposed to move. They're supposed to be able to laterally move their horse around that pole. And back to the finish line. Around that pole. Where he stops and walks across. Time. Nice clean run. Let's give him a round of applause. Judges, he had a score of, or excuse me, a time, 7.06. Two at a time, just like you wanted. <laughs> The purpose of the North Carolina Horse Council's Extreme Trail Horse Challenge is to promote horsemanship and sportsmanship as well as providing awareness of the North Carolina Horse Council and improving horsemanship skills. Everybody that competes in the Trail Challenge is required to be a member of the North Carolina Horse Council. The challenge is broken into four divisions. The youth division is 13 years old and under and they receive a prize in the challenges. The amateur division is 14 years old and over, and they receive a prize in the challenges. An amateur is anyone who has not judged, trained, ridden, or assisted in training of a horse or a rider for a fee. Excellent entry level for novice riders and designed for people who have never competed in a trail challenge. The open ah, class can ah, be any ah, age group, the and the swing, class uh, gives a 50% payback of all the monies collected from the class. Open division is there. anyone who has not judged, trained, <laughs> ridden, or assisted in training of a horse for a fee. The, the course is slightly more difficult than the amateur division. A pro can be any age as well. The course gives a 50% payback. Pro Division is anyone who has received money for riding, training, judging, or assisted in training. The course is more difficult than the Amateur Division. Any rider can ride up in classes, and as a horse and rider improve their skills, they are encouraged to ride up in a division. Courses and obstacles are designed to be non-discipline specific, and all obstacles are developed to create success versus failure. The course design consists of a minimum of six obstacles, not to exceed 12, with an aim of no more than 30 seconds per obstacle, plus two minutes of course time. The youth division has six obstacles as the maximum. Mm -hmm. Obstacle jumps are no more than 24 inches and elevation changes not to exceed 36. All bridges are 18 inches wide and no more than 30 inches above the ground. Safety is the primary focus in all obstacles for the horse and rider. Prior to the start of each division, the riders will walk the course and be given a map and ask questions of the judge they are not allowed to take a horse in on the comp competition course. No horse will compete in any division more than one time. Riders may compete multiple times, but they have to ride a different horse each time. Any obstruction or distraction that is deemed viable by the judges, the rider can be given an opportunity for a re-ride. We do have a dress code in these challenges, and each rider is expected to be an acceptable attire boots with heels, a hat or helmet, long pants, breeches, and shirt. Any device used to hold a horse in position like a martingale, a tie-down, or a gag bit is not allowed. Riders are allowed to ride bareback with a pad. All judges are to be approved by the North Carolina Horse Council. They must be members of the Horse Council and have completed the judge's clinic. The judge has the right to disqualify any rider based on conduct, abuse, or action deemed misconduct during the challenge. But it's going to save that mark if she ever comes off that board. Good job on the game there, Rebecca. Now up to the tire.
The North Carolina Horse Council has put on a series of these trail challenge over the course of this year and each rider was required to attend at least four of the challenges to be able to compete for the high point division at the end of the year. Our grand finale will be held in November at the Hunt Horse Complex. The Youth High Point Award will be given a head stall. The Amateur will be given a breast collar. The Open winner will get um, a set of chinks and the Pro Rider will get a saddle. All of these uh, uh, pieces of tack are custom made by our sponsor, World Class Saddlery. Then, the top 40 competitors from all the events this year will be able to compete in a race to see who wins, and that winner will get a Toro lawnmower that's donated by our other sponsor, equinesavings.com. So be sure and join us for that episode as well. This episode of Carolina Hoofbeats TV was made possible in part by funding received from the North Carolina Horse Council, a North Carolina nonprofit corporation dedicated to representing and furthering the common interest of the entire equine industry in all 100 counties of North Carolina. Carolina Hoofbeats is brought to you in part by Newcomb Quarter Horses. Newcomb Quarter Horses with over 40 years experience. Find out how we can help you today. NewcombQuarterHorses.net and by World Class Saddlery, custom saddles, repairs, custom tack, and personal leather items. Find out more at worldclasssaddlery.com. And also by Carolina Hoofbeats Magazine, a free publication about the horse industry in North Carolina. Catch up on the latest issue at carolinahoofbeats.com. nothing else matters. My feet in the stirrups, I'm so happy. Music Jubilee Down Home Christmas Show starts November 8th with all new songs, comedy, and stage design. This show has become more than just a tradition in Eastern North Carolina and has pleased audiences from 8 to 80. Experience this wonderful Christmas production. Watch the cast of the American Music Jubilee sing and play their hearts out for you. The spirit of Christmas will fill the air at the Grand Ole Rudy Theater in Selma, North Carolina. Go online to amjubilee.com and make your reservations or call that famous number 1-877-THE-RUDY. This is one show you don't want to miss. Miss Rodeo Virginia 2012, I had the opportunity to travel the country riding on many different horses and in many different saddles. But nothing compared to coming home and riding in my, uniquely my, world-class saddlery saddle. From its unique dog flower tooling to the custom stirrups made just for me, the saddle fits me and my horses perfectly. So whether I'm out running barrels or in a parade, the saddle is both durable and beautiful. It can get the job done and still look good while doing it. I look forward to riding in my world-class saddlery for many years to come. We're getting ready to have the North Carolina Southern Horse Festival sponsored by the North Carolina Horse Council. It'll be the fifth annual festival this year. We've moved it back here to the Hunt Horse Complex in Raleigh, North Carolina. And the dates for the festival are November 22nd through the 24th. We hope that you guys will come out and enjoy us at all the fun. We've added Academy Horse Show classes this year. We've added Walk Trot classes this year. We'll have the traditional No Bling Quarter Horse Show, the Open Horse Show. We'll have a trail challenge on Saturday. On Sunday, we have a trail challenge finale where we're going to award a Toro lawnmower to the winner, as well as all the high point awards that we've had this year. We're going to crown a brand new Miss Southern Horse Festival and a junior Miss Southern Horse Festival. There's just going to be tons of fun, so we hope that you'll come out and enjoy us. The event is free.